I love Reiki stories. So I'm going to tell you a Reiki story. I've been telling you one's about Reiki for humans. This one's going to be about a kitty. I have three stories here and I'm like, I have oh, many, many, many stories, but there were three today. And I'm like, okay, this one's really jumping out at me. So I'm going to tell you the story of, sorry, the screen here of a feral cat. I don't know his name. This was years and years and years ago. 15, uh, 12 years ago, I had just recovered from an accident I'd had with my horse. So my dog is whining. Could you be quiet, please? Um, and so I'd been out of commission for a couple months. Um, I mean, I was badly injured. And so I'd been out of commission and just starting to feel better and, you know, like ready to work again. And this woman called me. I always, I always find the timing interesting. Someone who I didn't know called me. At that time, I'd been writing um, a monthly column for a regional magazine called From the Horse's Mouth. And I wrote a column, well, it started as a column, became an article every month about animals that I was working with, not just horses. It was called Animal Connections. And this woman had been reading me apparently for years, takes that long for people to trust you, and, and called me. She had a colony a feral cat colony in her backyard and you know she fed them and they had shelters and they had water and she couldn't like take them to the vet or anything because she couldn't catch them <laughs> so um i'm not you know now i'm not sure if they were spayed and neutered i i don't know i don't remember if she had handled that part at least I'm going to guess, yes, she didn't have babies all over. But anyway, sorry. She called me Sinatra. I just remembered his name. She called me to say that Sinatra, a black cat, she sent me his pictures, beautiful, was really sick. He had green goobers coming out of his eyes, coming out of his nose. He had not eaten for a number of days. And he would not drink water. And she couldn't get him to the vet. She couldn't. He was just really wild. And she didn't, she wondered if I, give me a Reiki session and I'm like sure but I you know <laughs> I'm not making any claims about him being okay again you know Reiki helps support a Reiki session helps support a being's own natural healing ability I'm not putting anything in you that heals you it's not like oh let me touch you and you're going to be fine it's not that it's about supporting your own natural healing healing ability which is powerful and um, and the, and Reiki sessions are powerful, especially for pain and for healing from an injury or post-surgically, or those are the times that I really notice it. And emotional, emotional healing, just really, really powerful. But this, you know, I didn't know. And I told her that. I said, I, I will, um, I'll, I'll certainly share my hands with him. And so I did that day because he was really sick. So let me just do it. I'm not doing any, I'm not working. <laughs> I'm not doing anything else. Let me start my, my work back with Sinatra. So I worked with him. Um, I think we set up a couple of, a couple appointments, but I, but I worked with him that day and she called me back that evening and said, she knew when I did the session, you know, we had a time. She said, right after the session, she fed him. He ate two cans of cat food. <laughs> He hadn't eaten for like, you know, days. He ate two cans of cat food. He just kept eating and eating and eating and drank several bowls of water. Have you ever seen a cat drink that much water? And um, and then the next day, I, then I don't remember if I worked with him again. Like I said, this was years ago. I probably wanted a follow-up session, but I, I honestly don't remember. But he ate, ate. And the next day or a day or two later, he was completely fine. His eyes were clear. His, his nose were clear. He had been coughing. He wasn't coughing anymore. He was eating and running around. I'm like, well, be darn. And she came. She took uh, Reiki classes with me, two levels. So there you go. That's a Reiki story. Again, didn't know what was going to happen. I never make predictions about how the body's going to handle things. But that was pretty cool. I like that story, Sinatra. And he lived, I think he, he passed, but not for years. I mean, feral cats don't live that long. They get in fights. They get infected. They're not, they don't get veterinary care usually unless there's something really, unless they're so sick that you can catch them. <laughs> you know, if they're like at death's door, then you can take them to the vet. So they tend to not live as long. But, um, 
but he he lived apparently a long and happy life. So that's my story about Sinatra. I'll have more stories. I'll save the other two for later because this is running long. And uh, my name is, is Pam Sorellis, and my business is Winged Horse Healing. And you can learn more about me at wingedhorsehealing.com, Reiki and animal communication. See you again soon. Bye.